Well, a mission to rescue missing Metro Atlanta children and reunite them with their loved ones is ending. Operation Not Forgotten stretches across our part of the state, hoping to provide answers for parents who have spent countless hours looking for their children. CBS 46's Brittany Edney joins us live tonight with the result of a, Brittany, a two-week mission. That's right, Sean. 39 missing children were found and nine arrests were made during this operation. The U.S. Marshals Service tells us that 26 of those children were rescued and the other 13, they were located and they were made sure to be safe. Well, CBS 46 cameras were there during this mission and our Megan Packer takes us inside Operation Not Forgotten. When you think of U.S. Marshals, you probably think of them out catching fugitives, but this was a very different mission and they gave CBS 46 access to their operation. She has a pickup order only. Uh, there's no active warrants for her. Our agency has uh, a very good reputation for finding people. No offenses on the backside. We're, we're going to have to cover that two and three corner. Okay. U.S. Marshals suit up to get to work. They're looking for someone on the run, but not a dangerous criminal. We're going after children. This is Operation Not Forgotten. And oftentimes these children don't understand that we're there to help them. A massive planning operation behind the scenes was carried out over the course of two weeks in the Atlanta and Macon areas earlier this month. CBS 46 was granted access as the marshals and several partner agencies worked to track down critically missing children. Darby Kirby is the chief inspector of the U.S. Marshals Missing Child Unit. The child is typically at risk for some type of crime of violence, crime of violence meaning child sex trafficking, uh, child exploitation, abuse, or there's an elevated risk factor to that child, meaning they might need medication or there may be mental health concerns. On this day, Kirby and her team found a 17-year-old girl who ran away from foster care. She was with a convicted felon who had a gun. They removed her from a potentially dangerous situation. We have to take on more of like a, a protector role, more of a guardian. We have to remove that child from that situation and then explain to her, hey, this is why we're here. We're here to help you. Kirby says many of the young people they're tasked with finding in these cases come from a life filled with trauma, including physical, emotional, and sexual abuse, making it even more critical for them to get to safety where they can begin to heal. The U.S. Marshals Missing Child Unit has helped find more than 1,800 children in the last five years. And after this Georgia-based operation, they can add dozens more to their list. Megan Packer, CBS 46 News. Megan just mentioned we also learned today that the children were missing for various lengths of time, some just a few weeks, others up to two years. Reporting live in Atlanta, I'm Brittany Yedney, CBS 46 News.